So, today the A10 was announced by Gaijin, and of course all the American fanboys were swooning over it. Is it actually worth the hype? Objectively, the answer is no, and in this video I'll be explaining why. But before you America boos angrily smash the dislike button and report me to YouTube for terrorist activity, at least watch the video, and if you disagree, then comment down below. A couple of disclaimers firstly however, I am not at all bashing at Gaijin here because the model looks amazing and it is a great business strategy. I bet there will be many work parties funded by the premium A10, and rightly so since it is a good premium to sell and makes a lot of business sense. Secondly, I'm not bashing at the US or the A10 in general, only how the plane will perform in game. I understand that to Americans the A10 has a lot of cultural significance, and yes maybe I am trying to generate a bit of outrage to get views, but I still think it is an interesting vehicle to discuss, so let's get right into the video. The first reason that people are hyped about the A10 is a cannon and how it's supposedly a tank busting cannon. However, it is very debatable to what extent it will actually be effective in the game. Let's suppose in this video that the Tech Tree A10, which presumably will have all the bells and whistles associated with the A10s, will be at BR 10.0. In order to actually utilize the cannon, the aircraft has to be fairly close to the target, well, minimum 2 kilometers, and fire a sustained burst. At 10.0, however, the anti-air systems are very nasty, and there's no way that the A-10 can get reliably close, especially since everyone will spawn an SPA as soon as there's a hint of an A-10 in the sky. And the effectiveness of the cannon is also questionable, since aircraft such as the MiG-27s and A-7s have similar cannons, but they are rarely used. The second reason is that the A-10 is supposedly very durable. But why do people think that? It is true that historically the A-10 did survive quite a few things that were thrown at it, but does this relate to War Thunder? Unlike in real life, you often have multiple attempts at shooting at someone, and if for example a sign wire doesn't take you down, a second one is coming, and you won't be able to dodge that. The same thing applies to SPAA. The Warthog is slow and unmaneuverable, so it will be an easy target, especially for second strikes when the aircraft is already damaged. So how well do I think the A-10 will fare in War Thunder? To put it shortly, not that well. In air battles it will be a bus, and the only redeeming feature it will have are the AIM-9Ls, it is questionable how effective they'll be, especially since everyone and their mother knows that you'll have them and they'll be flaring like crazy. Meanwhile, it'll be slow and a very easy target. You also won't be able to turn well and be a target that everyone will want to go for. Whilst the cannon will obviously chew up enemies, again it will be difficult to get those on target, so all in all, very sad times in the air. In ground battles however, there is potential for a different story. Whilst I doubt the cannon can be very well utilised, the A-10 does have some very scary ordnance. Having 6 Mavericks is no joke, and whilst it might be difficult to launch them effectively, if you have a good approach you can cause quite a bit of damage. However, once again, SPA are quite good in the game if used well, and a pretty serious second concern are other aircraft and helicopters, which will have you for breakfast. Although less common than in lower BRs, some players do take out fast jets to destroy unsuspecting helicopters and aircraft, and the A-10 would not stand a chance against a Phantom Missile Express. But why does the A-10 have a reputation for being an amazing aircraft that will break the game? That in itself can be the subject of a full documentary, but I will share a few thoughts. It is objectively a mere plane that is old, and was about to be retired multiple times. However, it has been effective in counter-insurgency operations, where ultimately it can use its strengths, namely how cheap it is to operate and its weaponry, without having to worry about how effective the anti-air is. However, War Thunder is very different and will face a lot more than a few guys with stingers. For that reason, I think that despite the hype, ultimately the A-10 will disappoint a lot of people, but at the end of the day, it is what it is.